Okay, I'm going to do, uh, I think, three examples with you of solving rational functions symbolically. And the first one, we're going to start off with something that you've had in a previous course. Um, but this is just good review. So we've got 3x over 2x minus 1 equals 3. And we want to solve this. This is a rational equation um, because we have what looks like a fraction on the left-hand side. Um, and then you recall that if I have a whole number on the right-hand side, I can simply just put that over 1. And I like to put parentheses around a denominator that has more than one term. And now I'm ready to do something called cross multiply. And when I cross multiply, what happens is this bottom term gets multiplied by the top term on the other side. And let's pick a different color. And the top term on the left gets multiplied by the bottom term on the right. So this is what it looks like when you multiply it out. You have 3x times 1. That's equal to 2x minus 1. Notice I'm still keeping it in parentheses, times 3. And now it's just an equation to solve for x. So we have 3x on the left. When I distribu distribute the 3, I end up with 6x minus 3. And we just want to get our like terms together. You can do it either way. Um, let's just go ahead and get our x's on the left-hand side by subtracting 6x. So I have negative 3x equals negative 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Now let's just move our work right up here to the top. And then I end up with x equals 1. And there's my solution. Now, what's really super important when you solve rational equations is to always check your answer. Because, not in this example, but in the next one and the one after I'm going to do for you, we're going to have more than one solution, and we're going to have something called an extraneous solution. So one way to check it is to plug it back in. So let's just plug this back in. So we have 3 times 1 over 2 times 1, oops, that's a parenthesis, minus 1. And the numerator, 3 times 1 is 3. The denominator, we have 2 times 1, which is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, so we have 3 over 1, which is indeed 3, and that matches the right-hand side. So that does indeed work, and that is the solution, x equals 1.